Welcome to The Leather Journey. Uh, today we're going to continue our What Is series and hopefully answer or define, help to define, a term that you may have come into at a munch or just out in the community and the first time you hear it you're not quite sure what it is and so uh, you might be too embarrassed to ask so you go on YouTube and you search for What Is and lo and behold, here's Dex telling you what it is. So today's what is, is what is a little? Little, hmm, what is a little? Well, it, they come in all shapes and sizes and can be any age, but uh, oftentimes in leather and in BDSM, we get into role play and we like role play. And sometimes that role play actually extends into our lives and can end up even being a 24 seven, uh, depending on how, how long, you know, the role play could be done for a session or a scene or a night at the dungeon, or it could be more of a 24 seven, but, um, but role play is a type of relationship. And so what is a little, a little can literally be, uh, any age that's role playing, uh, the typical role plays you see, uh, littles do are infant, uh, early childhood, uh, all the way up into adolescence or their teenage years. And there's always exceptions to the rule of thumb, but typically most of the littles are uh, taking the submissive or childlike half of the relationship. Uh, there are some littles that, are, that play the role of dominant, just like you know, when we were, were young and kids and playing at home, we would dress up and play mommy or daddy. Uh, there are actually littles that dress up uh, or that take the role of a little, but play the mommy or daddy role, the dominant role in the relationship. Uh, you don't see it as much, but it's there. So we're gonna throw a whole bunch of acronyms at you and define quickly some of those acronyms and you can kind of see a little bit how this plays out. Uh, but you'll see the term CG slash L, which stands for caregiver slash little, or caregiver little relationship. And within the caregiver little dynamic, there are, of course, many, many different roles that can play out depending on uh, the gender of the little or whatever. You could have a DDLG, which is a, a daddy dom uh, little girl. You could have uh, MDLG, which is a mommy dome little girl. You could just have a CGLG, which is a caregiver little girl. Caregiver in that role that doesn't take the role of mommy or, or daddy is more in the role of a, a babysitter uh, or, you know, or preschool or day, you know, day school, um, type of, type of role. Um, you could have DDLB, daddy, dom, little boy, uh, MDLB, mommy, dome, little boy, caregiver, little boy, CBLB. Uh, and then you get into the, those rarities that do occur, but you don't see them as often the daddy dom little, the mommy dom little, DDL or MDL, uh, or even a caregiver little. Now caregiver little kind of makes sense because uh, we in real life we see a lot of adolescents in their teen years babysitting younger, uh, younger children, whether they're in early childhood or infancy. So, uh, so a little that's into adolescent play uh, could very easily be a caregiver little that's kind of in charge of uh, an infant or early childhood littles. So, you know, I go to a, a BDSM cons and events and there's, there's little littles play time and it kind of ends up like recess. There'll be dolls and crayons and coloring and all kinds of uh, toys for the littles to play with and in that kind of setting you could easily have uh, a caregiver little in charge of kind of the event to make sure everything runs well and that the 
you know, that the littles are nurtured and loved and uh, care is given for. So the caregiver is the typically the dominant role, uh, nurtures, loves, protects their little. Uh, they identify rewards for the little, uh, set some limits and uh, encourage the limits to be respected and followed. And when the rules are broken, uh, sometimes there's discipline involved. Typically discipline of littles kind of almost falls like parenting kind of concepts where the, the, cry, the, the punishment should fit the crime or has to fit the crime and punishments typically run like a slap on the hand or a time out in the corner, uh, grounding, uh, maybe even spanking if, if corporal punishment's been negotiated and, uh, and spanking can be done. Playtime typically with a, with a little kind of falls into two genres. You have kind of the recess concept where littles are playing with other littles and then you have playtime concept where the littles are playing uh, with their mommy or daddy dom or their caregiver. When you have a little playing with the, uh, the dominant in the relationship, t typically that play is kinky and oftentimes sexual in nature. Um, so there you have it. That's what a little is. I've been to little events uh, or where there were a large number of littles at an event. I think the, the biggest one I went to was uh, one in New Jersey many years ago called Brimstone. And at Brimstone, the littles uh, had their own playroom and brought their own toys and had uh, oversized Legos they played with and uh, oversized tricycles that they ran around on up and down the hallways and kind of created havoc for the event. Uh, there, there definitely needed to be a little more adult supervision of that littles going on, but it can be fun. It's a type of role play. And if you didn't know what a little was, now you do. And I, I'm appropriately wearing my Brett Tamer t-shirt today. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.